All of this to me seems like, you know, you're waiting for the women to react, you're hoping that they won't react um, to it. But if they do, you have the headlines, you know, that, that if they're going to react, if they're going to speak out, we have to be prepared. So to me, it just seems like a defence mechanism. I take what you're saying around the confidence in the screening. There's just one, there's just one uh, fact, I think, that is relevant to making a judgment on that, and that's if the intention was to withhold information what was the process of generating letters all about? It was the opposite of withholding information. It was generating individual reports and issuing letters for the purposes of passing that information out into the system and to be passed on to individual women. If the purpose, and I, I'm looking at this in reflection and trying to be objective about it, if the purpose was to withhold information, those letters would never have been generated. I don't believe they would. One of the documents here says that the one from March says that the women would be communicated with. Yeah, the summary status report in March 2016. Well, all of the memos refer to the fact that there is an intent for the information to be kind of communicated uh, with uh, with the patients concerned, uh, and clearly, what didn't happen uh, for the majority of women yeah. was that the consultant doctors didn't talk to the women about the results of their individual patient. Yeah. So I just want to know who made the decision, so the, or who reversed the decision. So the decision here was the clinician is requested to discuss the outcome with the woman. Who made the decision to reverse that? Who made the decision to reverse it? That's still the, that's still the case. Throughout the whole time, the, 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 the focus is on... So why weren't the women told if that decision was made? We would have to ask the doctors concerned. So the, so the doctors were told to, and it was the doctors that didn't tell the women? Is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah. I mean, the doctors received a letter saying, um, you know, here is, here is the information. They received the guidance. Um, as you can see from the auto process methodology, there were processes in place to consult with people in relation to the, in relation to the whole thing. And um, presumably, and there may be some very genuine reasons within that, because when the cervical check program were developing their approach to open disclosure, and again, their intent was to give the information to women, and clearly this will be something that we will need to reflect on with hindsight, yeah. but they did envisage that there would be circumstances where it may not be uh, either appropriate... So the doctors got the information and the doctors decided not to give the information to the women. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 